Hey there, it's Eileen Smith, and today we're going to talk about Twitter Live. I'm going to be sharing some of my tips and tricks with you, but also I want to share with you that I am broadcasting using StreamYard, and I have a little bit of a message from the folks at StreamYard about what's coming. There you go. We got some exciting things coming to the Stream Yard platform. And just so you'll know, I am an affiliate with StreamYard. And so if you want to get a free trial, you can just use my link, which is eileen.link slash StreamYard. And I'm going to put that up in a minute. But one of the things that you probably saw there is that StreamYard will now go to Twitter live. So from your desktop, you can go live on Twitter, which is really cool. Today, I'm going to share with you some of the reasons why you may want to go live on Twitter. You can add Twitter as a destination. And if you're not familiar with some of the things that you can do with StreamYard, one of the most powerful things you can do is multi-streaming. So you could be live on YouTube or one of your Facebook groups or your Facebook pages, as well as perhaps LinkedIn and Twitch. You know, StreamYard has so many cool features that we can do, like putting things up on screen. So for example, I said I would do it earlier, but here you go. There's the link. If you want to try StreamYard, it's eileen.link slash StreamYard. So let me talk more specifically about Twitter because it's a platform that I've just always loved Twitter since I first started out online, which was back in 2009. And it's always been a great place for news and updates to find out what's trending and what's really popular. But it's also a great place for you to promote your content as well as to connect with a community. And so they've got all these great features now coming out. For example, in addition to being live with the video, you can also be live with audio in their Twitter spaces. So here's one of the tips that I want to share with you. When your live is done, you're also going to be able to see all of your live broadcasts, your Twitter live broadcasts, will reside in your Twitter media studio under the producers tab. You need to go to studio.twitter.com slash producer. By the way, I'm getting ready to use another new feature from StreamYard, and that is what's called picture in picture. So here I am down in the bottom on the left-hand side, and you're seeing my Twitter studio. Let's just scroll down and you'll see some of my past broadcasts. I was live on Twitter all these days, all right? And so now I want you to see one of my favorite things about this is that you can do what's called edit in live cut. And I want you to see how you can create clips. See, it says create a clip by setting a start or endpoint. So this is really powerful because now it lets you take advantage of this broadcast that you did live and you can find highlights of the broadcast and trim this. You get up to two minutes and 20 seconds because that's the max that you can share on Twitter. Set my start point and set my end point. But of course, I can always adjust that. As long as it's under two minutes. Okay. And then I can save the clip. You can add a call to action. <gasps> I want to pause there because what I want to say to you is you're adding a call to action link 
to your Twitter snippet that you've just clipped. But you don't have to use other tools in order to create this clip. And then you can share that clip what on Instagram. You know, Instagram is a video platform now, right? You can also share that clip on TikTok. Hmm. Okay. So I wanted to give you some ideas of ways that you can make use of this live cut. I will definitely come back with more info about the updates coming to StreamYard, but I wanted to make sure I share some of this Twitter stuff with you because I don't want you to sleep on Twitter, especially when it's simple to just add it as another destination inside of StreamYard. So with that said, I'll see you on the next live stream. Bye for now.